everyone, welcome back. So today I am doing a tutorial using some of the products from 100% Pure. Now I've done a full video on 100% Pure products before where I was uber impressed by the products. And a lot of you asked about the eyeshadows because I said something like, oh, these I'm always skeptical of these brands and you know, I wonder how their other powder products perform, like their eyeshadows, if I could get a full look. So I have several of the eyeshadows I created this full look with and I also have a blush and a new one of those fruit pigmented lip glazes that I was obsessed with in the first video that I did. So if you missed the first video on 100% Pure Cosmetics, I will leave that below. This video is just to see how these eyeshadows perform. So if you're interested in my recommendations throughout the line of 100% Pure, if you're looking for uh, more information, a lot, I, when I first did that video, a lot of you requested tutorial or more information about a 100% natural brand. I thought I would take the opportunity to try out these eyeshadows and really give it a go and as well as I tried another a blush. I used the bronzer from the first one and then um, a few new colors of the fruit pigmented lip glazes. So if you're interested in hearing more and seeing how I created this look using 100% um, Pure Cosmetics then go ahead and keep watching. So like I said, I had done that video on 100% Pure Cosmetics and I got such positive feedback from that and I personally was so impressed with the products that I had several of you request for me to do another tutorial. A lot of people were interested in the eyeshadows because I even stated in that video that I'm always a little bit suspicious of um, natural cosmetics uh, in their performance. So I have some of the eyeshadows here to show you as well as a blush, which are the new additions to the products than the three that I showed in the previous video. So those are going to be what I'm going to be focusing on this look and just so we can kind of see how they perform together. I'm in a package just like this and a really nice clear package. This is called Vanilla Sugar. It's fruit pigmented eyeshadow and this is a really nice soft and buttery shadow. A uh, really beautiful shimmer color. Now I did put Max Painterly Paint Pot down um, as a base. You can use whatever base you like. It looks like it's basically a sheer wash of a really nice uh, shimmery color. This color is almost a, a peachy color, a peachy champagne color. I'm going to put a little bit on my brow, upper brow bone as well to bring a really pretty highlight and a little bit in the inner corner. Just using a big Eco Tools brush. Again, is Vanilla Sugar. So this is Toffee. Toffee is, I would say, a satin brown color. This one is a little bit powdery. Uh, when I, Just when I stick my brush in, a lot of powder kicks up. We're going to see how this performs on the eye, but so far I can tell it's going to have a lot of fallout. So I'm going to just run this through the crease. Now, this color, particular color does not lay down a lot of pigment, so it, it just seems to have a, like, a, you can't really get a lot to stay on. A lot of it is fallout, so you would have to go in with several layers. So this particular color, probably not be the best. If you wanted a light wash of color, it might be nice, but... I wanted something to a little bit more define my crease. I guess it is a nice transition color. It does have a little bit of a sheen to it. It just would take a lot of build up if you wanted it anything more than a transition color. The next color I'm going to go in with is called the Sateen and it's a little bit more of a plummy it's color. a little bit more matte. It feels very nice and silky. So this one is kicks up way less powder. I think out of the two already, I would prefer this one over Toffee. Uh, oh yeah, that adds a little bit more of a depth to the crease. So I really like this color. So this one is Sateen. I will leave the links to all of the products that I used in this video below. So if you're interested in checking any of them out. This is a really beautiful color. I'm just using a Target Up and Up crease brush. So one of my favorite brushes to use from Target is, you know, this is their Up and Up crease brush. I love it. 
So again, I really prefer this color. It gives a little bit more depth. It doesn't kick up as much powder, so it's a lot it's a lot easier to work with. And to deepen up the look, I'm going to go in with this color called Cocoa Plum. This is a gorgeous, almost plummy, deep brown burgundy color. Oh, I love it. This one has a nice sheen to it. It's, I'm going to use an e.l.f. contour brush. I'm just going to work this into my outer corner. And just to deepen up the outer corner right here. I just ran it a little bit in my crease. No additional product. I'm just going to go and blend the top of that. I'm going to blend all those shades together. So I'm going to take that Cocoa Plum color on a pencil brush and run it under the bottom lash line. I'm also going to just to run it along the upper lash line as well and smudge that out. Just on the outer portion of the upper lash line. Now to finish up the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and curl my lashes. I'm and going to apply the 100% Pure Mascara. Now this is Fruit Pigmented Ultra Lengthening 100% Natural Mascara. I used this in my last tutorial. I loved the look of the lashes. It was a really wispy natural lashes. At first when I was filming it, I wasn't sure what I thought about it, but then watching it back, I was really pleased with the way that it turned out. So I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply the mascara. For those of you who are trying to be more conscious about your about the brands that you're using in your makeup, this is a great brand. So far I've been really impressed with the way that the cosmetics perform. Now this has a natural bristle hair brush which is really long and slender. I like the way it kind of dips in a little bit in the center. I like the way that this brush grips my lashes and I really do feel like it's lengthening. So I'm just going to apply a few coats. It gets right to the base of your lashes as well. The thing that I said about this mascara is that it's black, but it's not extremely black. So if you're someone that is looking for a really, really dark mascara, it's definitely not the darkest that I've tried. The fact that it's 100% natural, it does a really great job. So, okay, so that is the finished eye look. Eyeshadows, I probably wouldn't get the toffee color. That was the only color that I didn't feel like performed the way I wanted it to. I really loved the vanilla sugar. I loved the sateen. I thought that that was a beautiful color, and I really, really liked this cocoa plum color. So out of those, I would probably only skip the toffee. Um, but these were these were really impressive, and I loved the packaging. The mascara, like I said, the only problem I have with it is that it's not as black as other mascaras that I. I wear but if you're looking for a natural mascara it's an awesome awesome mascara even the packaging is really beautiful um, it has just really gorgeous packaging so this is a great mascara and I really loved the wand so now we're just going to finish up with the face I'm not gonna go too much into it but this is their cocoa glow um, cocoa pigmented bronzer I love this bronzer it gives a really warm look I've talked about it in a face I also used it in the tutorial review that I first did on 100% pure cosmetics I also used this as a shadow in that first tutorial and I loved it. I'm using this as a Sedona Lace um, 813 big stippling brush. So I love the way this blends. I love the natural uh, almost like suntan glow that it gives. That would be the extra bonus, the cherry on top of the sundae, is if they could get this to smell like cocoa. Uh, you know, like the Too Faced one. So but I love this bronzer. It blends beautifully. It warms up the complexion beautifully. It's just such a gorgeous bronzer. 
And then it comes in this gorgeous tin. I love that. And it has a mirror, so I won't try and blind you, but it does have a full mirror. So love this bronzer. Definitely one of my favorites. And I said that before. This has been in favorites. It's just ugh, one of those beautiful colors. So out of the products, I definitely recommend this bronzer. So a newer product to me is the blush. Now it comes in a very similar packaging. It's almost like a rosy... Um, rosy metallic packaging. This is their fruit pigmented blush and this is in the color raspberry. It is a beautiful, beautiful raspberry pink color. I love this color. It's gorgeous. This is a brush from Walmart and I'm just going to dip it in and tap it off and these are really pigmented so I'm just gonna ever so slightly um, blend it in on my cheeks and oh I love this color it's so beautiful and natural and really just blends effortlessly so they have several different colors if this color isn't particularly for you they have some light pinks um, really beautiful so oh, I love it um, this is definitely like the bronzer that I would recommend. The packaging is gorgeous. It does have the full mirror. Um, really just a quality, awesome product. Okay, so for lips, I have tried their fruit pigmented lip glazes in the first video and I talked about, ugh, I was so obsessed with it. I was so obsessed with it. So I think, I don't, I can't remember the color. I think it was Cabernet that I had. Um, and I have two different colors here today. And they are daiquiri and pomegranate. So pomegranate, these smell like a fruit roll up. They are extremely creamy, long wearing. This is the pomegranate color that I think I'm going to put on. I love it. This is the daiquiri color, which is like a bright, almost peachy, but sheer, beautiful color. So I'm, I might put that one in the center. Ugh, I love these. They have so many different colors. The daiquiri is a little bit more buildable. The pomegranate is like that bright, beautiful color. These apply beautifully. They feel so good on the lips. I love these and I highly, highly, highly recommend them. Um, I would get every color if I possibly could. So I'm just going to apply uh, the pomegranate color first. I mean, the way that this applies is like effortless. It just glides onto your lips and it just, it feels so good on your lips. And then I'm going to put a little bit of this daiquiri color in the center and to make a really um, peachy color. Oh, I love these colors. I'm so obsessed. This color isn't for you. They have several of this fruit of these fruit pigmented lip glazes, which I love, 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 and definitely highly recommend. I think that they are really comfortable, pigmented. They smell good. They wear a while. They don't leave a gross little ring. Um, they apply beautifully. Like I said, they just feel really, really good and hydrating on the lips. So this is my finished look from 100% Pure. I hope that this was helpful for y'all who requested a little bit more information about some of the products and see how the eyeshadows performed. Just Overall, I recommend every single product with exception of that one eyeshadow in the toffee color. I just didn't think it performed as, as well as the others did. So I would skip that one. I love the blush. I, I'm obsessed with the bronzer color. I love the way they blend out. I love the way they apply. I love the fruit glazes. The mascara is awesome. So if you're looking for a brand that uses natural ingredients, 100% natural, definitely check out 100% Pure Cosmetics. I'll leave a link to all the products that I use in this tutorial below. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.